In this video, we are going to be comparing the best single to double strollers of 2020. Thanks to our friends from Up A Baby, Silver Cross, Nuna, and Bugaboo. We know that if you invest in a great cornerstone single to double stroller, you're gonna have that and benefit from that for years. So in this video, we're really gonna cover four of the best options. Now, if you have questions, you'll be able to leave us a comment below. You can email us your questions at questions at mbeans.com. Or if you'd really like to benefit from the one-on-one -on -one partnership of one of our gear experts, you can head over to our website and schedule a virtual consultation. We'll put you through the paces of finding really great baby gear. Now let's get into the review. Okay guys, so we are talking great single to double strollers. We're looking now at the Up A Baby Vista V2. There's a lot of reasons why this stroller is really recommended frequently by friends who own it, family members who own it. Um, let's talk about a few key features. Um, to begin with, obviously it's an aesthetically pleasing stroller. Up A Baby does a great job at making sure that their products are, you know, really good looking and you're gonna be very pleased with the overall look over time. Um, some convenience based features. If we take a look at that basket on the bottom, when we're talking single to double based strolling, things that can even eventually hold three children, you're gonna need a big basket and Up A Baby completely understands that and they definitely prioritize that here when it comes to the Up A Baby Vista. So by the time you have three children on this stroller, you definitely won't have to worry that you don't have enough space if you're going out without your car, I'm um, sort of for all their things. We've got a nice height adjustable handlebar. When you're using this as a single, any fixtures that you're going to go ahead and put onto this stroller, can world or parent face. Really great upgrades to the canopy in the 2020 model. We're talking about UV protection um, that really keeps the aesthetic still nice and neat, nice and clean. You may have seen the 2019 model, uh, the previous Silver Sun Shield. This is a great upgrade. We of course are getting peekaboo windows. So all things considered, we're keeping that great overall look. Now let's talk about the double capabilities of this stroller. Top seat here, we're getting 50 pounds worth of weight bearing. So as a single, that's gonna take you well into sort of four and a half or five years of age. We're gonna grab that second seat, show you some of the orientations there, circle back and we'll look at the fold. Okay, so I have my second seat. Now here is the thing that I often hear about um, as far as concerns are for double capable strollers. In a double mode, when we're both facing out um, or we're both facing in, the top seat of a Vista is going to hold 50 pounds, the bottom will hold 35. I don't want you to worry about that because there's multiple orientations that you're going to be able to accomplish with this stroller that will prevent that weight bearing from really limiting you in any capacity. We like to think of it this way. If your children are twins, weight bearing differentials aren't really going to ever have a major impact on child placement. If you purchase a Vista for your long haul and you're expecting your second, well, you will be able to affix a car seat here to the top and then your toddler is hanging out front of the stroller, great sensory engagement, having a grand old time. Now you're going to take the second seat off to fold. That is really something that I think that we can get a bit too concerned about. This takes about five seconds to take off. You're gonna put that right in your trunk and then you get this beautiful standing fold. Um, I think this is like a really smart feature that the Vista affords to our families. Even if it's about storing in the home, this is right against the corner. It's not really in your way. Total stroller as a single, we're looking at 27 pounds. You of course can disperse that weight if you had to. And if you're looking for a stroller that's gonna maintain its value, just look no further than these nice large rear wheels. And if you pay attention to the basket, great suspension we have there. We look at all of these features, the ease of use, and it's really straightforward for us to see why the Vista comes so heavily recommended by friends and family. Okay guys, we are moving on to the Silver Cross Coast. The Silver Cross Coast is one of my favorite strollers on our sales floor here at Magic Beans. To begin with, obviously it is a very good looking piece of baby gear. 
Um, Silver Cross to this day still makes the prams for the royal family. So we really talk luxury when we're looking at their products. Now that's not to imply that we don't get function simultaneously. So let's talk about that just a bit. Silver Cross has two single to double strollers in our assortment, the Wave and the Coast. Now, of course, we're looking at the Coast today. I really like the Coast price point. We're looking at a thousand for a stroller that can really be the cornerstone of your assortment, grow with your family, and eventually hold up to 177 pounds of weight between the two seats and the ride on board. In order to accomplish that, a Wave or a Coast, we're gonna use a magnesium alloy base. Think about how sturdy that material sounds. That's providing you with great longevity. Now, in the convenience end of things, we're gonna have a world or a parent facing seat. Um, there's something to be said for very ergonomically designed connection points. And so with Silver Cross, we've got almost these handles. It makes it very easy sort of to make those manipulations. I know that sounds a bit superficial, but we want your baby gear to be convenient for you. So of course, that's easy to trigger. We get a bassinet that's included in the point of purchase. But here is really where Silver Cross as a brand, when we're looking at tandem capable doubles here at Magic Beans, they're able to sort of take a step beyond the competition when it comes to their weight bearing. We're looking at the primary seat. This can hold up to 55 pounds. In a moment, we'll grab the tandem seat. That's gonna hold 45 pounds. But most importantly, there is a mode here for Silver Cross that is unique to them as a brand, allowing our parents to pair a bassinet in the top facing parent with a seat on the bottom facing the world. Now, if you're at the foot of the mountain that is finding your baby gear, that may seem a bit hard to sort of narrow down the use in your life, but when it comes to basic sort of common sense strolling, there is some huge convenience to that orientation. And so here we have second seat, 45 pounds capable. Now, again, I know that sometimes when we talk about how a stroller folds, when we talk about what needs to be on and off the stroller when folded, we can seem to get a little bit obsessive with ease of use. Now, here's the truth of the matter. I touch strollers for 45 hours a week, every week of my life. Every single thing in our assortment is very easy to sort of handle and you're gonna get into the rhythm. When you fold a coast, second seat's coming off. Keep in mind, if you're at the foot of your trunk, this is off, it just goes in. It's safely set aside. And now, you know, I'm a little bit of a, a particular nut when it comes to if I own a thousand dollar stroller, I want it to be well taken care of over time. So you don't have to lock the front wheels. I'm going to do that in all of my neurotic Italian glory. And here, when we come down to the floor, all of the appendages on my stroller are off of the floor as opposed to sort of not having the wheels locked where they can kind of come to the ground. Very easy to do. We have two triggers and then we're gonna have a release here, which we bring up, bring up my stroller and we are good to go. Again, lots of similarities between this and the Wave. Really great for tandem and future-proofing stroller. All right, guys, we're on to the Nuna Demi Grow. We love Nuna here at Magic Beans. They are just wonderful partners to us and they make very high quality baby gear, really convenience focused, really adds a great quality of life to the overall experience for our parents. And if you've owned their product before, you know that when it comes to things like textiles, they sort of really um, provide our families with super elite, super great products. This is the Demi Grow. We couldn't wait for Nuna to have a single to double. They did not disappoint us in any capacity. Now we're looking at it in single mode. The Demi Grow is a very unique stroller. As a single, you can purchase a bassinet as a separate accessory if you care to. I have my toddler seat that's gonna face the world or face the parent. You guys know I love an ergonomic, easy to trigger fold and switch, so we've got that going on. Very cool from Nuna, they are one of the few brands in our assortment to offer multi-season seats. So when we're talking about the summer months, you can sort of zipper back a textile and then you have a mesh backing if people run hot, if your little ones run hot. Now, world-facing, parent-facing bassinet as a single, car seat compatible with all five of the Nuna Pippa family of car seats. 
Nuna loves their customers. Those adapters that you'll need to pair the two are gonna be included at the point of purchase. You do not have to purchase those separately. That's typically between a $45 and $50 savings. So there is some you know, great sense to that in terms of having everything you need come right out from the box. Where the Demi Bro really is in a league of its own is how they've taken double strolling, which can kind of always mean an increase in width or an increase in length. And they have, and they've won so many awards for this, which makes so much sense. They have taken a practical approach and they have provided us with a double stroller that has a sort of stacked seating. So I have my second seat here. You get a better angle and get that right in. Okay, so my second seat is in. With the Demi Grow, Nuna has accomplished stacked seating. So don't worry about the experience for the child in this lower position. We can, as parents, project our comfort, our concerns onto our children. Um, this lower seat position, the fact that they're stacked, now this stroller has an incredibly reasonable amount of depth. We have single strollers that have the same back to front measurement. What does that decreased depth mean to you in practice? Well, normally if you're strolling with a double stroller, again, you're pushing all of that size somehow and you can feel it. You can feel it slightly harder to turn. Perhaps you're concerned about how this stroller will do if you live in an urban or densely populated environment. This is your answer to that. You're able to really navigate shorter turn radius, much easier to maneuver. Circling back to this lower seat position, what is most likely going to transpire is by the time you have two, if they are not twins, car seats going here on the top, this seat's going here on the top, toddlers going on the bottom, there is still ample opportunity for sensory engagement with your environment when you're sitting in this particular lower seat position. We also want to zero in on the fact that children, as they become more autonomous, they like their own space. They like to be able to be responsible for going into and out of something on their own. And so on that sort of, excuse me, in that regard, this is completely conducive to that. We're fostering independence and I'm really into that. If you have a child at home who likes to get into and out of their high chair or climb up on the kitchen chairs on their own, this is their gym, this is gonna be their space. Weighs about 27.4 pounds, so we're looking at the mid-weight end of things, but that's the case for all of our single to double strollers, typically about 27 pounds as a minimum. Lastly, 50 pounds per seat. So, if you're worried about longevity, long haul, accommodating seats, 50 pounds per seat, really nice high overall weight bearing. So this is a Demi Grow. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap up today with the Bugaboo Donkey 3. If you are watching this video, if you're tuning in and you're a Bugaboo fan, then you know when it comes to longevity and return on your investment, it is very hard to argue that anyone aside from Bugaboo is sort of in that top spot. They are design and engineering fanatics, and that is really well represented here with the Bugaboo Donkey 3. Um, we are very happy to have the three here. If you've previously been familiar, you know that there's been some updates year over year. Um, with Bugaboo product, it becomes very difficult for them to reinvent the wheel. Um, they, again, put so much thought into sort of the initial product that typically we see some minor upgrades as opposed to really overhauling the stroller. I've got it shown for you here today in bassinet mode. Now, here's the thing. Um, if you don't own a primary vehicle, if you think you're going to be outdoors for very, very long periods of time and your stroller is gonna serve sort of as your car, then it's hard to argue against purchasing a Bugaboo stroller. We'll start with the fact that the wheels are foam filled. Foam filled wheels are gonna replicate the experience of air in terms of absorbing the impact of the sidewalks, brick, cobblestone, all of the unpleasant trees you can find, sand and snow. So if you think I'm outdoors with that stroller, I need to stroll with two kids, real benefit there. Um, sold as a single, we're gonna get that beautiful side luggage basket. Parents who own a donkey, donkey one, two or three, are huge fans of this basket. Um, we're talking about really easily accessible pieces of um, opportunities, excuse me, to get to your bag, your purse, your wallet, 
your child's favorite toys, their snacks for the day are right here at arm's length as opposed to being underneath. This is side by side. Um, side by side strollers, they get a slightly bad rap. People can see the size and get a little bit too concerned about what that size is going to do as far as their quality of life. Here is actually the long and short of it. If we have a wider stroller as opposed to a longer stroller, again, we have a shorter turn radius. So as we're maneuvering with our stroller on a daily basis, side by sides, while they may seem like they're the more cumbersome option, actually provide our families with the better overall experience when it comes to maneuvering in uh, sort of daily use. Um, if you're tuning in and you're saying, I'm in Boston, I'm in New York, this is just gonna be way too big. The thing I always like to circle in on, even if you get a tandem, there's gonna be a point in time you're taking a corner and somebody's gonna have to move because you're pushing your stroller. So double strollers are not space savers in general. And so we know one way or another, you're gonna have some manifestation of size. Now, I also just, you know, as a mother of a teenager, the way that this expands is so sophisticated to me that I really, I have like an unhealthy obsession with it. So we're looking at the second seat of the Donkey 2. We're doing a little 2-3 hybrid today. Other advantages of this stroller. If you're expecting twins, there is no way for me to sort of accurately impress upon you how important it is that you can have both of your children right here at arm's length as opposed to expanded on the length of a tandem stroller. If you have children who are of different ages, we're talking about two years or so between the two, you're gonna have the ability to have one face the world, one face the parent, but you're not sacrificing in the access you have to them, the ability that you're gonna have as a parent to sort of tend to their needs. There's not a time when that stops. Um, sometimes we can get a little wrapped up in thinking about the terrible twos, um, so on and so forth. Like, you're still gonna need to engage with your children. The Donkey 3 provides us with that ability. And again, the benefit to do both world facing or both parent facing. Um, on the heavier end of things, when it comes to the range, we're typically looking at about 32 pounds when we're looking at a donkey as a single. Again, as opposed to, say, that 27 to 29 pound range, where all of the rest of the strollers in our assortment find themselves. But again, pretty easy to sort of make those adjustments. Bring this back down to single mode. If you're tuning in, you have an active lifestyle and we're planning for double strolling, this is definitely the way to go. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, checking out our best single to double strollers of 2020. If you would like to see other great reviews, full reviews of the product that we looked at today, or maybe you're shopping a different stage in your baby gear, head over to the Magic Means YouTube channel. You can see all kinds of great content to help you make your big decisions.